Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of biology, what is in the world of the body, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. While some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach, we can help you. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about prescription drugs or side effects or toxicities or skin care, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to just contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today. And every day on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010. If you're interested in joining the Bright Side Ben team and helping me in my mission to educate the world about how important and how powerful and how beneficial and how necessary and how vital it is to get on a good nutritional supplement program, especially if you're dealing with a health challenge or if you're on prescription drugs, Nutritional supplements make your drugs or help your drugs work even better. Prescription drugs or nutritional supplements can mitigate the side effects of prescription drugs. So if you're on a prescription drug, it's even more vital and important that you get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team and help spread the word, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They can tell you how you can start yourself a business by helping change the world one patient at a time, 866-735-2470. You can also sign up right off the website, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. For you guys interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment skincare, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at the retinol gel, 5% retinol gel. You're not going to find that one anywhere except for truthtreatments.com. Non-irritating, non, uh, non-allergenic, no preservatives, No wax, no filler, all at truthtreatments.com. Retinol, 5% gel. Make sure you check that one out. All right. We're talking about the aging pigment, the stuff that builds up as cells die off and our ability to process them drains away, or our ability to help process them and drain them away becomes uh, compromised. That's not melanin. I'm making a distinction here between pigment on the surface of the skin. That's the pigment that's associated with tanning, the pigment that's associated with complexion. That's called melanin. And that stuff's a problem too, especially for women who are pregnant. There's something called the mask of pregnancy. Women will get this discoloration right around the eye area. Almost looks like a raccoon mask. Sometimes women will get this darkening as they get older or they go through menopause. That's a really important uh, skin condition that a lot of folks have problems with called hyper pigmentation, melasma, it's associated with estrogen, the female hormone estrogen, thus the mask of pregnancy, estrogen goes up when we get pregnant, when a woman gets pregnant. As estrogen levels change premenopausally and during menopause, pigmentation can occur. We're going to talk about that kind of pigmentation. We're going to talk about some strategies for eliminating it or even better preventing it. And it is an important aspect of skin health. And we will be talking about that in the coming days. But right now, I want to make this distinction between melanin or skin pigment and lipofusion. Lipofusion is not cosmetic. Melanin, hyperpigmentation, darkening on the surface of the skin, that's a cosmetic issue mostly. Certainly, there's some internal issues as well that are associated with that, but mostly that's cosmetic. Lipofusion, on the other hand, is about aging. 
It's about breaking down, and it's ultimately about health. And understanding how to eliminate it or prevent it is really important when it comes to longevity, when it comes to anti-aging, much more than a cosmetic problem. You know, you can tell lipofusion because it's deeper. It's not on the surface. It's deeper in the skin. You can see it on the skin, but it's deeper, and you can't really scrub it away or rub it away. You can't, pretty much, you can't do anything topically to get rid of lipofusion. There's lots of nutritional and internal strategies, however, that you can use. And if you notice these brown spots, they call them liver spots are accumulating on the arms, and that's typically where, the, where they will happen on the arms, sometimes on the face and also on the legs. If you're noticing that you're starting to accumulate this aging pigment, this lipofusion on the surface, rest assured it's happening inside the body too. It's happening in the brain. It's happening in the heart. It's happening in the various organs, the spleen and the kidney and the liver, and it's aging you. It's making you get older, and it's increasing your risks for degenerative diseases. So you want to figure out how to reduce its appearance, reduce its formation, and increase or improve the body's ability to eliminate it. And there's a couple of things. There's actually a two-fold strategy for reducing or eliminating lipofusion. Number one, you want to speed up its removal. Lipofusion is drained by the body, drained from the body by something called the lymph. Now, we talk about the lymph periodically, but in my opinion, not nearly enough. You certainly don't hear a lot about it from your medical professionals or on on standard radio programs that talk about nutrition even. The lymphatic system is part of the blood, part of the circulatory system. It it is kind of similar to the blood system. It's all one big circulatory system, the lymph and the blood, and it's really not, it's sort of an artificial distinction to separate the two. They're both part of the circulatory system, but the lymph is more involved with draining poisons out of the body and with helping fatty material transport through the body. Fats don't really transport through the blood. They transport around the body. And by fats, I'm talking essential fatty acids. I'm talking your fatty vitamins like vitamins D, E, A, and K, so-called DEEK vitamins, as well as toxicity, prescription drugs and food toxins. These are all traveling through the lymph. And keeping the lymphatic system circulating effectively is super, super important. One of the most important of all health strategies is to keep your lymph circulating. Bodily movement is how nature designed the lymphatic system to circulate. The blood circulates via the pumping action of the heart, but the lymph doesn't have a pump, really. We're the pump. Our body is the pump. Our muscles are the pump. So making sure you're moving your muscles is the way to circulate lymph, and everybody should be doing it. A rebounder is one of the all-time great health tools you could ever use. It'll cost you about 60 bucks. It's a mini trampoline. You can keep it in your living room or in your basement and just jump on it for 60 seconds in the morning, 60 seconds at night, especially in the morning. It'll help wake you up in the morning. If you feel like you have a cold, you're coming down with a cold, or if you have any kind of a Uh, Any kind of health issue that involves stagnation, lymphedema, for example, a pooling up of fluids in the bottom of your legs, or any cardiovascular heart health issue, or just for general general health, jumping up and down on a rebounder is an amazing, awesome way to keep that lymph circulating. That means more nutrients, and that means more detoxification, and it's extra, extra important if you're dealing with an immune disease, which can cause the lymph to become uh, congested, a digestive problem, which can cause the lymph to become congested, or if you're on prescription drugs because prescription drugs are drained via the lymph. So getting on a rebound or exercise, walking, even up and down the stairs. If you're morbidly obese, you can still walk up and down the stairs. Do you know just walking up and down the stairs for some folks is a great exercise. Exercise, remember, x arc is just destabilization. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need to be lifting weights. You don't need to get on the treadmill for half an hour. You don't need P90X where you work out for 90 minutes. That's all great stuff. There's nothing wrong with that necessarily. But you don't need to be overwhelmed by exercise. All it takes is destabilization. Now, keep in mind, the body doesn't like being destabilized. So we're not going to necessarily want to exercise. You got to kind of force yourself. Anything that's good for you, we probably aren't going to want to do. This idea that we should want to do things is something that needs to be re-examined. You know, if, if things were easy to do, we would all be doing them. So taking care of your diet or exercising or getting on a good nutritional supplement program, there's, there's going to be some inertia that we got to bust through if we're going to be able to exploit or leverage the advantages from these kinds of strategies. Hang tight, I'll finish this up when we come back from our break. We'll talk a little bit lymph. We'll talk nutrition for the lymph when we come back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back. Okay. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific Time and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. You can also check out my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470, or head over to our websites and order product directly from the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And, of course, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, we'd love to have you on the team. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it. 866-735-2470. Okay, we're talking lipofusion. Lipo means fat. Fusion means dark. Lipofusion, dark fat. So named because the stuff is fatty. It sticks. Doesn't, doesn't uh, rinse out of the body like water-soluble material does. And it's dark. It's oxidized. It's brown. And that's why it shows up as brown spots. The lymphatic system, part of the blood, or part of the circulatory system, I should say, is charged with eliminating fatty substances. And as we get older, the lymph gets clogged up. When we're sick, the lymph gets clogged up. That's why the doctor will kind of squeeze right around your neck. You have a couple, con- you have a two concentrated lumps of lymph. They're called nodes, lymph nodes, right around your neck area. And when you're sick, those areas will swell. Little kids sometimes will get their lymphatic system in their in the neck area will get so clogged up they'll have to have a surgical procedure called a tonsillectomy to remove the lymph. Tonsils are part of the lymph, and kids who are allergic to dairy or eating crappy foods or just generally unhealthy, their lymphatic system will get so clogged up that the only way to get rid of it uh, to uh, eliminate the congestion, which can cause problems breathing because the the lymph is located near where the air comes down the down the windpipe, they'll have to surgically remove the lymph. The lymph is, uh, in our, the way we live our lives anyway, the lymph gets readily clogged. And keeping that lymphatic system moving around is super duper important. If you're noticing that as you get older, you're getting those brown spots, lipofusion, chances are your lymphatic system is starting to clog up. Get on a rebounder. Move your body around. Do stairs. Carry around a, a, a backpack with a bunch of books in it and just do three or four steps. When you're exercising, if you move your body super slowly, it'll take you a lot less time to get a complete exercise. When I go to the gym and I do my curls or my resistance training, I only have 15 minutes a day to do my workout, so I do my exercises super duper slowly, and you get tired or you reach, you reach a muscle a point where you, uh, your muscles are fatigued much more quickly if you move your body slowly when you're exercising. So walking fat, walking briskly, Moving your, uh, moving your body around on stairs, on a rebounder. These are all mechanisms for, for, uh, for improving lymphatic circulation. Of course, you also want to reduce the production of toxicity, the, the toxins that get into the lymph in the first place. And that means digestive health. There's a very important opening into the lymphatic system at the level of the intestines. There are little doorways, little portals into the lymph right at the level of the intestine. And one of the major ways the lymph lymph gets clogged up is through foods, especially fatty foods. One of the big problems with homogenized milk is the fact that the fat particles have been ground up so small, they go right into the lymph. Cow's milk, uh, as we buy it in a supermarket, homogenized and pasteurized cow's milk is most definitely not a health food. It's an awful food. Now, theoretically, milk can be a good food, but the way we buy in supermarkets, it's definitely a lymph-destroying food. And if you're noticing that you have lymphatic congestion or accumulation of lipofusion, eliminating dairy is one of the all-time great strategies for helping clear the lymph, along with moving, moving your body around and exercising. Of course, the mighty 90 essential nutrients are important. Stabilizing blood sugar is important. Oxygen is super-duper important. And relaxation, turning on the parasympathetic nervous system is also important. This is all part of moving the lymph around. This is all part of reducing the formation of brown spots, lipofusion. But it's really about anti-disease. It's really about health. It's really about longevity. It's really about feeling better. The idea, the notion that we need a doctor, we need a prescription, we need a surgical procedure to be healthy when there's all of these wonderful non-medical f- strategies with no side, that have no side effects, they're free essentially. We can jump on a rebounder for free, we can walk up and down the steps for free, 
We can take a brisk walk around the block for free. All of the we deep breathe for free. All these wonderful strategies that are non-medical, require no middleman. Remember, medicine is about middlemen. Is so amazing to me. There's no reason why anybody needs to have a chronic degenerative disease. And folks, there's not a single prescription drug or doctor strategy on planet Earth that can make a difference, certainly not the kind of difference that jumping up and down or a rebounder can do or uh, uh, practicing your deep breathing techniques. Anyway, for lipofusion or for anti-aging or for anti-disease or for anything else, improve digestive health first. That's always the first thing you want to do. That will improve nutrient absorption, and that will also reduce the, the steady stream of toxicity that enters, enters into the lymph, body, ultimately, which is the body's sewage system. Especially fatty toxins. Toxins, well, most toxins tend to be fatty. That's because fatty stuff sticks. Watery stuff is excreted out of the body. In fact, one of the ways the body processes fatty toxins, and that includes prescription drugs, make no mistake about it. Prescription drugs are processed as toxins, and one of the ways the body processes fatty toxins is by making them more water-soluble, because fatty stuff sticks. It's like peanut butter. Peanut butter sticks. It sticks to the roof of your mouth. It sticks to a knife on the sink. All oily, fatty material sticks, and uh, toxins, which tend to be fatty, are sticky. That's why the lymph is uh, the system that drains out toxins, because the lymph is how fats are transported through the body. So toxins enter into the lymphatic system through the digestive tract. That includes prescription drugs as well as food toxins and, and, and uh, fatty, fatty material that's found in dairy and, and other foods. And as, this, uh, as uh, these toxins enter into the lymph through the digestive system, eventually the lymph will become clogged. Poisons will accumulate, and then nutrients won't get delivered into the cells. That means vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin A, and vitamin K. You could supplement all you want. But if the lymph is clogged and it's not transporting these vitamins to the cells, they're not going to do you any good. And by the way, same with essential fatty acids, omega-3s and omega-6s. These are also transported through the lymph. That means the accumulation of toxicity is going to cause a wide range of mysterious, seemingly mysterious, medically mysterious, and serious health conditions. Fibromyalgia is a classic example of a clogged up lymph. Fibromyalgia always occurs, or mostly occurs, in women, and that's because the fatty hormone estrogen is involved. Fibromyalgia occurs throughout the body. You guys, fibromyalgia, as anybody who has it knows, is absolutely miserable, and the medical model is completely mystified at how to deal with it. Well, I'm telling you how to deal with it. You focus on the lymph. You focus on fats. You focus on fat absorption and fat digestion and fat processing. Use probiotics. Move your body around. Fibromyalgia affects the entire body, so that immediately tells you you're dealing with a circulatory issue. How else could the entire body be affected? You tell that to your doctor. If you have fibromyalgia, which is one of the dumbest of all medical diagnoses, fibro, fiber, myo, muscle, algae, pain, fiber, muscle, pain. So you go to the doctor and tell him your, your muscles hurt, and he says, oh, you have fiber muscle pain. Oh, thanks, doctor. Except he says it in Latin, so he could charge you for it. Anyway, fibromyalgia by its very definition, by its nature, tells you you're dealing with a circulatory system issue, primarily a lymphatic issue, and that means a fatty issue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got so much more to say on the bright side, and we'll take your calls, too. It got a full board open for you, too, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we get to as many calls as we can here. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. On the bright side, and we have lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business formulation, skin care, health care, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. Also, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to chat, contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. Physical activity may help treat dementia. This is from Medscape for Pharmacists. New research shows that being physically active not only reduces cognitive decline and improves neuropsychiatric symptoms in patients with dementia, but it may also reduce Alzheimer's disease markers, including those plaques, the so-called plaques, amyloid plaques that doctors are so fond of, of citing as a cause for uh, Alzheimer's disease. Today we know Alzheimer's disease is a diabetic issue. It's a blood issue. Uh, blood sugar issue. It's even called type 3 diabetes. Got a letter here from 
Uh, let's see, from a gentleman, Dave. He says, uh, can you please recommend what you think the best treatment for Alzheimer's disease is? And if possible, I'd like to speak to someone knowledgeable about Alzheimer's disease. Dave will give you a call here later on if you're listening. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is a blood sugar issue as well as a digestive issue as well as an oxygenation and relaxation issue. I call that the triangle of disease. And Alzheimer's disease, like all chronic degenerative diseases, can be backtracked to this triad of symptomology. All of them. All chronic degenerative diseases. This is such good news. Because what it means is we have control. There's no doctor that can help us control our blood sugar. That's a dietary issue. There's no doctor necessary for oxygenation and relaxation and digestive health strategies. And by working with this triad, this, this triangle of health challenges, of health issues, everything, everything improves. From uh, the journal Retina, we talked about macular degeneration last week. From the journal Retina, March 2015, metabolic syndrome, that's, uh, that's diabetes, that's blood sugar issues, metabolic syndrome, increases the risk of age-related macular degeneration. Metabolic syndrome, obesity, high glucose and high blood fats are predictors of progression of age-related macular degeneration. That's a quote from Retina, the uh, very highly regarded journal Retina, March 2015. It's endless, you guys, endless. The links between how we live our lives in terms of nutrition and lifestyle choices and food and chronic degenerative disease. And you're not going to hear that from any medical professionals because that's just how they make their living. And that's tragic and that's unfortunate. Here's another juicy one from Medscape Pharmacist. Inhaled steroids exacerbate pollution's effects on asthma. What? Are you kidding me? Inhaled steroids make asthma worse. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's obvious if... You understand how these things work, that inhaled steroids are going to make things worse because steroids shut down the immune system. Who the heck thinks that? that's a good idea to suppress the immune system, especially in a kid and especially in the respiratory tract? Of course, it's going to make pollution's effect on asthma worse. You guys, there isn't a single medical strategy that can help us reduce or reverse a chronic degenerative disease, even though you may get your symptoms reduced. It's not about, health is not about reducing symptoms. And it's not the doctor's fault either. It's the model's fault. It's not the individual doctor's fault. The individual doctor is trained in disease management, not in health. The individual doctor goes to school to study disease. Well, that's great, but where's health? They should call them disease professionals, not health professionals. It's really endless, the craziness. I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to be on the Dead Doctor Show today. I'm going to talk about Preluent. Preluent is the new $14,000 a year injectable nastiness biologic, they call it, this is, uh, that lowers your cholesterol. Doesn't, hasn't been shown to do anything for heart disease, by the way. Just lowers your cholesterol for $14,000 a year. If any doctor ever writes a prescription for Preluent, I don't know how they can live with themselves. Pre uh, it, to this day, Preluent is, hasn't been shown. To, it's, been out, it's been studied now for over a year. They still haven't been able to, or over five years, I think, and they still haven't been able to show that it lowers or reduces the risks of heart attacks and strokes. But it does lower your cholesterol. It does lower your LDL cholesterol. Of course, they do know that it has side effects like neurocognitive brain effects and pain effects and muscle effects, as all cholesterol-lowering pharmacological agents do. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Larry in Oklahoma, what's going on, man? Welcome to The Bright Side. Hello. Uh, yes, hey. I wondered if, if you had an opinion of the Brzezinski Clinic in Houston, Texas. You know, I, I don't have an opinion. Yeah, I know the doc. I, I don't know him personally, but I, I've read his. I read about him, and I know some of his work. Dr. Brzezinski is the anti-cancer doctor, and uh, I know the government doesn't like him, and I know they've been trying to shut him down. And that usually is a good. You know, that means he's he's on the right track if the government's trying to shut him down, probably. So I can't speak specifically, but I can tell you that he is an alternative practitioner. And if I had cancer, I would certainly be listening to what he had to say. Uh, are you thinking about for cancer, Larry? Well, I've got a complicated situation. I had a simple ascending colon removal because I had a, a bleeding tumor there. But after the surgery, everything went fine, except uh, and, and my, in, my internals worked just great. But I had an infection over the on the incision. Okay, you with me? Yes, sir. 
And they sent me home with a wound back. It finally closed up after, you know, about six or seven weeks. But then shortly thereafter, this bulge kind of appeared in that area, right over the where the incision was. And the doctor kept telling me it was scar tissue. And I asked everybody that I had anything to do with medically what this was. Unfortunately, it was a, a, a tumor. You know, and I would... If I were you, I would check out. I would at least see what. Do you live in? Ta- well, you're in Oklahoma, but if you're close by, um, we're, no, we're not close. About 600 miles. It might be worth it. I mean, I I hear good things about him. Uh, he does this. Uh, he has his kind of interesting therapies. Supposedly they're not proven, but I would definitely see what he has to say. Meantime, okay, you might want to do a couple other things. You might want to start fasting, especially if you have a colon issue. Uh, you may want to uh, practice intermittent fasting, and certainly, absolutely, if you're not already, you want to reduce the amount of foods, the f- amount of food that you eat, caloric restriction, and then anything you do for digestive health, including fermented food and probiotics and liquefying your foods, making smoothies and juices, as well as bone soup, would be in your interest. High doses of vitamin C can be helpful. Also, you may want to look at injectable vitamin C. I love injectable vitamin C. I, Have okay. you done that? Have you tried well, that? I do. I inject B12 because now vitamin C is a little bit different. It's majorly, right. majorly anti-cancer and anti uh, anti-infection as well. So that might do some good for you. Also, uh, intravenous glutathione might be something else that you want to think about. Yes. Uh, that last thing you said uh, kind of went over my head. Okay, let me spell it for you. Okay. It's okay. intravenous, meaning IV. They put it right in right. your blood. And then the second word is glutathione. Glutathione is the body's natural anti-cancer fighter. It's made in the liver. As we get older and the more prescription drugs we take, the less glutathione we have and the more susceptible we are to cancer. So intravenously injecting it can be helpful. Let me spell it for you, okay, Larry? Okay. It's, it's G-L-U-T-A-T-H-I-O-N-E, glutathione. You can also use glutamine supplements to help make glutathione, but in your case, I would look at it IV. All right? Okay. God bless you, my friend. Good luck with everything, okay? okay? And you, you feel free to shoot me an email with your phone number if you want some personal attention. I'm glad to help out. All right, Larry. Thanks so much, buddy. Okay, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear us talk about on the program or advertise on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website, or you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the websites. Or you can call 866-735-2470 and do the same. You can join the Brightside Ben team by calling 866-735-2470. If you're interested in my truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. Ruth in Washington. Good morning. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Pharmacist Ben. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? Where in Washington are you? I am in Issaquah. Where's that? That is on the east side, almost to Snoqualmie Pass. I don't know where that is either. How far from Cat is it? North or north in the state? It's south. It's south. It's, it's a suburb of Seattle. Oh, okay, got it. Washington is so beautiful. If I didn't Thank live in Colorado, you. I would live in Washington. I just love oh, that I state. Love Colorado. And I met you in Vegas at the airport. You were running to get your oh, was that you out at leadership. Yes. With oh, that Barb was you. McFadden. That was hi, me. Hi, Ruth. Somebody sent hi. me a text. Was that you that sent me a text or a Facebook, yes, or was it your friend? I sent you an email, but was, I didn't follow it up. I know you're so busy. But it was um, a nice email. Did I not call you back? Did did I I, I should have called you back or something? Did I miss yeah, a phone call? Well, I do it all the time. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're so okay. busy. It's I am okay. busy. This is true. Listen. I like being busy. What's going on? How well, can we help you, Ruth? Okay, my my son has suffered from boils. I think they call it something suprativa, hyper... Uh, oh, my goodness. Hydrodin- hydrodinitis suprativa. Thank you. Right. That's an aw- and, acne inversa. That's a terrible... It's much worse than boils. Well, that's a ter- I've been terrible in longevity in, for three years. Now, I've been treating him according to Dr. Wallach's recipe. Okay. Um, does Doc the, have a... Uh, does he have a... Pro- does he have a protocol for that? Yes. Okay. Here's the and deal. 
Okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, Ruth. Is no, he no, getting no. better? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, let me just ask, is he getting better? He still gets them, and he, there is quite a bit of scar tissue. The only thing that's different is they're bursting on their own. Um, they always have, but he thinks it's it, they're bursting faster. They're, okay. Well, I don't like that he's he been three years. he got a new one in a new area. Now, um, now he's been fighting them. It, it hasn't been for three years. I've been in activity for three years. He, okay. He's been having them probably for the last year. Okay. So for five months, we've been using this recipe. The only thing we haven't tried is Dr. Wallach's vitamin A. He says 100,000 international units a day. That's not a bad idea. Vitamin A is super important for the skin, and, and you can take high doses. Make sure you're using all of the nutrients, your whole healthy star pack, if you're going to take that much vitamin A. But, but here's the deal. Uh, the skin in general is part of the immune system. It's along with the digestive tract, it forms the bulk of the immune system. There's some immunity in the blood and in the lungs also. But when you have a skin problem, you want to focus on an immu the immune system and the digestive system. Those are the two places that you want to work. So link his breakouts, his boils, when they get worse, flare-ups to foods and the foods he's eating. In fact, Ruth, how old is your boy? He's 27. Okay, well, I would highly recommend that he fasts for a few days. All right, okay. he'll notice that his skin improves when he fasts, yeah. and then when he starts eating again, he'll notice that his skin gets worse, especially if he starts eating his favorite foods. So you want to link the breakouts to specific foods. That's step number one. And for the listeners, uh, hydrogenitis superativa is a... Uh, is a uh, uh, skin condition that's also known as acne inversa. It's like a, it's it's a type of break, a type of acne like breakout, but it yeah, features it's boils and cysts, and it's just miserable, miserable, miserable. And you know, he a, did have really bad acne for years. We well, it's all connected. Dermatologist, and that all cleared connected. up with the longevity. Well, um, let's clear the other. Let's clear the rest up now, too. Now, how, when he was a baby, when he was a, a kid, did he have any digestive issues, food intolerances, food allergies, things like that? Not that I know of, but we do follow the good foods, bad foods list. Okay, it's more than good foods. Bad foods list now. It's more than good foods, bad foods. It's good foods for him and bad okay. foods for him. What's your boy's name? James. Okay, so it's good foods for James, bad foods for James. That's how good foods, bad foods should work, because everybody's an individual. There's no, it's really difficult to say blank, you know, some foods are bad for everybody pretty much, but for the most part, we have our own specific problem foods, and he wants to know what those are. He may be thinking he's eating a good food, but it's bad for him. Then you want to start supporting and strengthening the digestive tract, and the Biolumin Nightly Essence is a key. So same with the Z radical, or the Fucoid Z, I'm sorry. So Fucoid Z, 3 in the morning, 3 at night, and then the, uh, the Nightly Essence, 3 in the morning, 3 at night as well. Have him eliminating foods and do an elimination diet, and also uh, fasting can also ha help him too. And then there's specific nutrients for the skin and the immune system. Vitamin A is a great idea, but you want to make sure you're doing it with all of the nutrients. In fact, I'd be getting some sun also to get his vitamin D. Make sure, sure, sure he's on 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate every day yeah. and you and doc probably told you this but just in case make sure he's using the ultimate selenium i'd be doing 600 micrograms a day of that make okay. sure he's doing his ultimate efas he probably wants maybe uh, not, i would say for most people three 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 times a day but i would double that for him maybe three six times a day or six three times a day so he's doing 18 a day yeah. at least for a no, little bit no okay so 50 milligrams zinc and the selenium, selenium how much uh, 600 micrograms a day. That's okay. six capsules a day. Okay. Okay. And then make sure that he's using his ultimate EFAs as well. And I would be doing, if I were him, 18 of those a day, at least to start until his skin starts to improve a little bit. Okay? Mostly focus on the immune system, however, and that means foods, and, and there's lots of other things too, and that means foods. Uh, topically, if he wants to use a little bit of retinol, that will speed up the healing and will uh, reduce the likelihood of, of, uh, of scarring. And there is a, a high chance that he's going to scar because the boils are so severe. So yeah. using retinol on top, once the boils start to resolve, using retinol on top of the skin can help uh, reduce the likelihood of scar formation. Now, is, All right. is yeah. it... Um, Curable? He's yes. On the web. No, it's not curable. They're, they're no, it's not. And it's not curable. That's a childish word that they use to infantilize you. It's not a cure. It's reversing. 
It's the body. There's no cures. Cures means that he's, remember I said this, I don't know if you heard this, but I said this last week. Cures implies that you have this magical disease state and all of a sudden, you know, you wave a wand and it disappears. That's not how it works. It's a process. And what we want to do is reverse the process. You follow me? Okay. So okay. it's not, cure is not the right word to use. Cure is a doctor word and they use that to, you know, create this mystical, magical idea around diseases. It's not a cure. You yeah. stop doing the things that are causing the problem. Last week I was talking about running and verbs. You know, uh -huh. disease is disease-ing. You know what I'm saying? It has an ing at the end of it. It's a verb. It's a process. So when okay. you stop doing the things that are causing the process, the process resolves itself. And by the way, nutritional deficiencies count as a thing that we're doing. So once you reverse nutritional deficiencies, once you eliminate the problems, the, the stuff that's getting into the system, the body will take care of the rest. And by the way, we don't talk, I'll probably talk about this in the next few days, but the skin is loaded with bacteria. And lots of things we do, from drinking uh, chlorinated water and fluoridated water and taking antibiotics and eating antibiotics and fish and in dairy, and using preservatives in skin care can kill the natural bacteria on top of the skin. This is why I never use preservatives in my formulations. Uh, that's why the Truth Treatment products have no preservatives in them. You Your can't. Is wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate that. But you can't, the point is, you can't manipulate and play around with the bacteria on the skin either through uh, antibiotics and foods and chlorine and, and water and topical preservatives and not expect to have a problem. So focus on what's going into the system in terms of foods that are activating the immune system. Make sure he's getting his nutritional supplements and doing a food diary and, and also a, a fasting and caloric restriction. And the body will take care of the work and absolutely hydrodenitis superintiva as all chronic degenerative conditions are is reversible thank you so much for your kind words ruth appreciate it one, one and, more quick question he does he's on gluten-free beer does that does, well gluten-free is another one of those cliche things and uh -huh. it's just there's many more things gluten-free is great but there's many more things in foods that are not gluten that could be a problem so you'll eat your gluten-free foods but there's other things in the foods so you don't want to go gluten-free as much as you want to go problem-free. Look at the foods that are causing problems and then eliminate those foods, okay? Awesome. Thanks. God Pardon bless you. Ben. Have a great day. God you bless too. you. You too. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Hey, Brian, man, got about a minute. What's going on? I'm sorry to, sorry to rush you. Uh, can we help you quickly? Brian in New Hampshire? Yeah, you can. Um, really quick. I'll just keep it as quick as possible. I'd like you to touch upon this maybe tomorrow. Okay. Um, the, I have a lot of problem with people that are on paleo diets. They, have, they, they don't really know much about diets. But recently I've been in getting in problem with vegans who have been telling me that that eggs are the sore cause of diabetes. And well, that loose, there's a lot of idiocy loose, about eggs out there, and oh, I've been reading about well, it myself. I, I, I want You know, Brian's a great really, subject. I, Brian, I got like 30 seconds, man, but it's a great topic. I'd love you to call tomorrow. Can I get you to call tomorrow? You bet. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you. It's a super important topic. Eggs are a power food. Some people have a problem with eggs, absolutely. But other than that, they are a truly a power food. They're loaded, absolutely packed, the nature's densest nutrient source. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Hopefully, Brian will call back tomorrow. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, and you can purchase any of my skincare products at truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for